Number five, the giant snake. Are you afraid of pet snakes, especially giant ones? Well, it might be a little late since you are already in the moving cab of Jimmy Fela's and you can't escape now. This aspiring author and former New York City cab driver would get behind the wheel in his spare time, along with his 14 feet long yellow and white Burmese pet python, and together they would scare passengers for fun. These unsuspecting passengers would always be in for a treat, no matter what. After each pickup, Jimmy would release the snake from a hidden compartment in the front seat. The bright yellow, fat, and large python would then slide itself into the back seat, driving passengers frantically crazy, screaming and hyperventilating in complete shock. One man reportedly opened the door and jumped out of a moving cab. Luckily, he only sustained minor injuries, but that would not stop Jimmy. In an interview with Jimmy, he said, It's so much fun, I just can't stop. Number 4. Diuretic Detour Toshihiko Nishi from Osaka, Japan would give his female passengers snacks containing furosemide, a potent diuretic. He would then take long and congested roadways, giving the drug adequate time to enter the bloodstream. Once desperately in need of the restroom, this cab driver would refuse to stop. Watching his victims squirm, and in numerous instances, they would urinate in the back seat. It would give him an unexplainable euphoric thrill. This taxi driver was a complete pervert. But it was not after one of his passengers reported what had happened to her, police officials decided to investigate. His house was searched and more than 1,000 furosemide tablets were found, as well as videos of women urinating in the car. He was charged and imprisoned after further investigation revealed he had done this to more than 100 female passengers during his rides in the cab, giving them all snacks containing high concentrations of this powerful diuretic. Number 3. Fare Dodgers Nothing can be more frustrating to a cab driver than passengers refusing to pay their fares. Well, the cab drivers in Russia have their own way of dealing with these fare dodgers. Fare dodgers in Russia are faced with one of the most humiliating punishments of all time. Stripping naked. Yes, passengers who refuse to pay their fares are embarrassed by stripping themselves naked. And even though police officials are aware of this shameful act, they support it 100%. The first incident of this kind took place when a group of men reportedly upon reaching their destination jumped out of the cab and ran off. The taxi driver then called for backup from his colleagues and together they found and captured the men. They were stripped naked and painted with blue paint. All of this was videotaped and posted on the internet as a warning to other fare dodgers. Sure enough, the video went viral. Number 2. The Hero Cab Driver In August 2015, a cab driver became famous after he helped the police capture and arrest two alleged robbers hiding out in Arden Hills, Minnesota. The two were on the run after reportedly beating and killing a man during a midnight robbery at a local grocery store. The robbers were caught and after they called a cab to pick them up outside of a cordon off area police had set up, during the covert operation, the call was intercepted and the taxi driver was asked to assist. Unaware of the surprise in the back seat, when the cab reached their hiding residence, the back door opened, and out came two fully armed police officers from the Minnesota State Police Department. Hunter J. Carlstrom, the taxi driver, became famous that day, and was given a badge of bravery by the State K-9 Division for his role in the capture. Number 1. Taxi Cab Funeral This next cab driver will give you the creeps. Victor Perez Cardona's last wish, while on his dying bed with cancer, was to drive his car at his own funeral. That's right, Victor wanted to be dressed and placed in the front seat of his car, dead. And needless to say, his wish was fulfilled. In front of hundreds of friends, family members, and community mourners, Victor was elegantly dressed and seated in the front seat of his car, wearing a pair of white gloves, while holding the steering wheel tightly. Mourners would then get into the back of his car to pay their last respects. And please, don't be surprised. Funerals like these are very popular and common in Puerto Rico. In fact, other similar examples include a young man who was placed on his motorcycle, a boxer who was placed standing in the ring, and an elderly woman who was seated in her favorite rocking chair, dressed in her wedding gown. <laughs>